Okay, y'all, welcome back to my channel. So, today's video is gonna be a little different. It's not gonna necessarily be a podcast or nothing like that. So, I decided to visit my family today, and it was real random, but I decided to record it because a major part of why I started my YouTube channel was to talk about my healing process. And a big part of my healing has to do with my family, right? So, Every time I decide to go visit them, I get this feeling of like, it feel like I be shaking up, or I just be, you know, nervous, and it just be a weird feeling. And I think it's because, being that I've changed so much since I moved away from my family, um, it be hard to go back around them and be this new person because I know in the past, it hasn't been like the easiest thing for them to accept me for who I am and stuff. And being that I moved away, I've gotten to know myself a lot more and started to become who I truly am and be comfortable with that. But I'm comfortable when I'm at my house because it don't be nobody there to say nothing to me, to judge me, and like that. So whenever I get ready to visit my family, I always get this nervous feeling because I'm like, you know, I don't want them to judge me and stuff like that. You know what I mean? It'll make me feel bad about who I am. Uh, what else did I want to say? Okay, so in the past, like when I first moved away, it was way harder to go back and forth to see them because I was healing, going through the transition of, you know, finding myself. And it's like every time I would visit them, it just would never feel right, you know what I mean? And I think it's because I always overthink or expect how the visit should be, being that, you know, I'm a this new person, I made this new transition in my life. But I would go down there and it's like, I wouldn't see no changes in them, for real, you know, because I thought that since I was changing, they were supposed to change too. So, moral of the story, I'm going to visit them today and I want to add them into my video just so y'all can get a glimpse of like, you know, I don't really know how to explain it. I know, I don't know, I like like a little documentary, I guess, but not really, I don't know, just depending on if they want to talk or not. But, yeah, I don't really got enough to say, you know, I got my partner with me. <laughs> He's driving and stuff. How you feeling? Man, I'm good, man. I'm good. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just coasting down the road. Y'all see that? No way. But I'm just coasting down the road, man. You know what I'm saying? Safe travels, you know? Yeah. You're just going to enjoy it. And I was really about to cry today when I was like, you know, because what happened was I was in the car and I was like, I missed my single but in my knees, right? He's like, let's go down there and stuff. I'm like, okay, you know. But then, as soon as I started to pack my stuff, I started to get this feeling like I was about to cry. Like, I don't know if I want to go. Like, I was so scared. And he's like, what you scared of? I'm like, I don't know. I just feel like I'd be scared of, like, how it's going to go with them. Like, like if they see this new person, like, are they going to accept me or not? You know what I mean? And I think I just be overthinking too much, you know. He said I be overthinking too much. But, yeah. So, if anybody else be going through these, let me know. Because I be going through this so much. So, um, it's not going to be no regular vlogs. Like, I'm not going to be showing y'all, you know, what I'm doing. It's just going to be like, I'm going to be popping in and out the video. Just, you know, explaining. I might, y'all might see my family. Y'all might not. It just depends. But, yeah. I'm tired. But as y'all can see, I made it here in my mama bed at my mama's house. Just got out of the shower. My mama shower. And y'all, that was the best shower like if you're from the country and you had well water then you know well if you have been in city water then you know the difference but city water and well water is just two different experiences and i've been in city water for about a good three years now so every time i come to my mama house i just be in the shower just feeling like i'm in heaven because it's just something about that natural water that just feels really good you know it feels really relaxing and stuff so i just took a shower i was gonna wash my hair but i think i'm gonna wait till tomorrow because it's no point if i'm about to lay down um so right now i'm just chilling it's just me and my aunt here and she back there laying down so i said i, I guess i'll relax before everybody get here because when everybody get here it's gonna be chaotic well i don't know it maybe maybe it'll be different but what i mean by chaotic is like my family just they loud and they 
they just, you know, they, what you call it? They just got a lot of energy. <laughs> and when they get here, it's just like a, you know, so I'm going to just relax and get my mind together before everybody get here. Just a little update and stuff. So y'all see me whenever I pick the camera back up again. Oh, and I also wanted to say that if you are somebody who has recently moved out of your parents' house, whether it's been three years, one year, two years, five years, six years, but you moved out and you have parents who are okay with you, you know, coming home sometimes, then I would advise y'all to do that sometimes. Because today I got up, well, me and my partner, we got up because we, cause we got parents. We come from the same city. So his folks stay down here too. And we both just like, we don't want to deal with responsibility today. Um, and I think it's okay to take breaks from that sometimes because life does get overwhelming. You know what I mean? Especially when you move out. It's your first time being on your own and stuff. So today I'm just like, I just want to go to my mama's house today. And I just want to pretend that I'm still a teenager in high school with no bills, with no responsibilities, with no nothing, no worries. You know what I mean? Because I need a break. <laughs> I need a vacation. I just need a day or two where I just don't got to worry about paying rent. Don't got to worry about going to the grocery store. None of that. You know, the rain out of laundry detergent. I don't even care. Tissue. I don't care. I don't, I don't care. I just don't want to care. You know what I mean? So if you got parents or anybody that you can like just go to and just take a break from your reality, then do that sometimes because... It be helping me, you know what I mean? And then when I go back home, it be like a a reset, you know? So while I'm down here, I'm just taking this as a moment to just be free from everything, you know what I mean? So yeah, I just wanted to throw that in there. So my family actually started getting here earlier than I thought. My grandma and papa pulled up and my uncle. So I already know I ain't getting no sleep, I ain't getting no rest. You know, I could, I'm still sitting back in my mom's room because I'm like, I'm still gonna sit back there and chill. Um, I'm eating some cereal right now. Some cereal and don't mind my outfit. I got on my mama clothes because when I come to my mama house y'all, I don't bring nothing but my toothbrush, my shea butter, basically anything that I'm going to need personally. But I don't be bringing too much stuff because that's the best thing about coming to my mama's house is I don't have to bring nothing because she's going to have everything. But that's just a little update. Um, yeah, because as soon as I close my eyes, my grandma knocks on the door. And I'm like, who is that? Like, I open the door. It's my grandma, my papa, and my uncle. So I'm like, whatever. But like I said, I'm still sitting back here. Just like I used to when I was living here. We have company. I'm sitting in the room. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, I'm going to just do that because I ain't ready to mingle right now. You feel me? I got to get my mind ready for all the questions and stuff that I know I'm about to get. Okay. So one thing about me is I'm going to give myself a task, right? And it's going to be something that I ain't really got to do. But being that I already told myself I was going to do this now. I gotta do it because I said I was gonna do it. So my mama, she got this cabinet, right? And she got all this stuff, like perfume, lotion, everything. And back in the day when I was here, she used to always have it organized. So I'm looking at it and I'm like, it's not organized. So I know what, it's, what it means when a woman isn't as organized as she usually is. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna organize it for her because it's a little chaotic, so um, yeah, just want to let y'all know that. Y'all, <laughs> I'm low key scared to talk because it's my family there, and I feel like they listen to me. But anyway, she be having all of this stuff. Like, what? If I still use this type of stuff, yeah, she be having all the best perfume, everything. I remember when I used to take her perfumes and she'd come my room and she'd be like, I've been looking for this. And I'm like, yeah, let's see what this smell like. Like, what is this bottle? Like, Versace? Like, 
Why do you got Versace purple? Why you got Versace purple? Mm, it looks too strong for me, but like, what is this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, really? This is too bougie for me. It's like a little corset. Mm. That's not good. Some more pair of scissors. Well, this ain't open, so I'm gonna leave that alone. Uh, just all the good stuff. Excuse me, I'm gonna like close or like slide it off of me. Let's see what this is like. Mmm. That's not good. Mmm. Mmm. She's still like this. <clears throat> somebody all right so as y'all can see i've organized it and i realized she got more stuff than i thought so i did run out of room so i had to put some other stuff some other place but i think that look way better okay so I don't even know what to say right now. Like, I'm nervous. I don't know why. But <laughs> I don't know what to say right now. Because as y'all can see, I'm back at home. Like, I'm going to close this video out. Like, I didn't even finish my video that I planned to do on my head. You feel me? Because I had to go home last night. And, yeah, I'm going to tell y'all why. So, remember when I said, I don't know if it was the last clip or, but somewhere in this video, I said, if you got parents or family that you can go to when... You know, you need a little break, a little vacation or whatever. Then go down there and just, you know, take the opportunity, you feel me? But I learned a big lesson yesterday that I've been already knew, but you know, you know in life you gotta keep going through the same things until you really, really grasp what it means. So yesterday I realized something that I really needed to know, you know? So yes, I'm grateful that I do have a mama who don't mind me coming, you know, whenever I want to come and stuff like that. I am grateful for that, you feel me? But yesterday, I realized, like, it might not be the best. Well, no, 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 because look at me, sugarcoating. It's not the best to go around people who don't have your best interests. And it's really tough to say that because on this journey, family has been my biggest issue. You feel what I'm saying? They have been my biggest obstacle, you know what I mean, my whole life. But specifically for my healing journey because they play a major role in all the healing that I got to do, you feel me? And, you know, throughout time, I would come across videos of people and they would always be saying, you know, when they start healing, they had to cut family off, they had to do this and do that. But I would always be like, nah, like, I don't agree with that. I don't, I don't think that's right, you feel me? Because I'm the type of person, family is like up here for me. Well, before yesterday, family has was up here for me. You know, I'm like, well, that's family. You feel what I'm saying? I don't want to cut my family off. I don't want to, you know, I don't, I don't even want to be moved away from them as far as I am, you know, but that's just how my situation is. But I was always like, I don't want to do that. That's just one thing I don't want to have to do. You know, I don't understand how people can do that. You know what I'm saying? No matter how much stuff my family was putting me through, I was still always like, Cutting them off is not an option, you know? Until yesterday, I went down there with open arms because I don't care how much somebody do to me, I always keep my arms open for change on the end, you feel me? And I think that's why I'm always getting so hurt because I give people too many chances, you feel what I'm saying? And they always prove me, they always prove themselves to me to be the same person that they've always been, but I'm just so like, just always open. I'm always just, you know what I mean? I don't even know how to explain it, but I realized like in me doing that, that's why I'm always getting so hurt. I see how people do me. I hear the things people say to me and I know that people ain't really the best for me, but because I think it's because I know that I'm always changing and I know that I ain't always used to be this way. And I know that a long time ago I was not the best person. So I think I just see people like that i see I, I think that i think i just see people like that i always say well people can change blah, 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 you know give people grace and blah, blah, blah. but yesterday i realized like people don't want to <laughs> people don't want to be better 
People don't want to change. People don't want to treat you the way you deserve to be treated. People don't want to respect you, respect your boundaries. They don't want to do what they don't want to do. And if you and, and if you like me, and you're always telling yourself, well, maybe it's this, and maybe it's that, you know, maybe it's this, maybe it's this, maybe it's this. But yesterday, I had to really face it. Like, maybe it's just is what it is. And maybe you just don't want to accept it because you don't want to do that hard thing that you know you're going to end up having to do. You feel me? This is really like hard for me to say. Like, oh my gosh, like, it's really hard for me to say. But I just, this is what I made this channel for, for real. Like, I made this channel to take y'all on this journey with me. You know what I mean? And to be real with y'all. But I reached that point. Like, I'm at that point where I don't, I can't do it no more. You feel me? I can't, I can't do it no more. And I don't even know why I feel bad for saying it because I've went back and forth so many times with them, like, you know, just accepting things. They say they say things to me. I just let it slide. I don't really say too much because I'm like, oh, you know. But yesterday I had to face it. Like, these people are not for you. <laughs> I had to swallow that. I had to swallow that pill. <laughs> but these people are not for you. And as much as I want them to be, they're just not. I'm not saying they're terrible people now, because like I said, I don't have no abusive family. My family don't be doing no crazy over the top stuff, but it's just simple, simple as they're not for me. They're not for me for who I really am, you know? I might could have adjusted to their ways back then because I wasn't who I am today, but for this path I'm taking, that's just something I'm gonna have to accept. Like, that's just something I'm gonna have to. That's just something I'm gonna have to like, dang on. Oh, I almost cuss. Sorry, y'all. That's just is what it is, y'all. And I don't even know how to feel because when I when I when I left yesterday, I didn't say nothing. I ain't even I ain't even speak on the situation that sparked me to make this decision. I just peeped it and I just said, okay, that's the last shot. Like, okay. It's not it's nothing else I could tell myself. I, I don't even have any more excuses for y'all. Like, if this is what it is. This is what y'all gonna do. Then, okay. You know what I'm saying? And I don't really want to get into it, get into detail because it just happened yesterday. Like it just happened. So I still got a process, and I will be speaking on this. But I gotta get to that point where I like to get to a point where I can speak on things without, you know. But that's all I wanna say. Like that's just just is where I'm at. You feel me? Yeah, I know family. We supposed to stick together. We supposed to. You know what I mean? We stronger together and stuff, but that's just ain't how it is. You feel what I mean? That's how it's supposed to be, but that's just not how it is. And it ain't nothing I can do about that. <laughs> it ain't nothing I can do. Like, it don't matter how much y'all change, it's not gonna make them change. It don't matter how much I respect myself, they're not gonna respect me that way. It don't matter how much I love myself and how much I accept myself for who I am. That does not mean that they gonna accept me for who I am. And, love me the way that I love myself. They're not gonna be as considerate as I am towards them just because I'm considerate towards them. They're not gonna watch what they say to me just because I watch what I say to them. They're not riding for me how I'm riding for them. Like, so what is it gonna take? Like, that's what I had to ask myself yesterday. Like, what is it What is it gonna take? You know what I mean? Because this is, this is why you move in the first place. This is why you move in the first place. You feel what I'm saying? So why are you still trying to go back and forth trying to go back and hold on to something that ain't even there. Like it's not even there. I'm holding on to my, I'm holding on to stuff that I come up with in my own head. But then when I go back down there, I face reality. And it's like, why you keep doing that to yourself? And even though I'm strong, I'm way stronger than I used to be. So when the situation happened, it didn't get me like it used to get me, but it was just like, all right. You know how like when somebody say something, do something and it's just like, that little, that little one little straw, and you just be like, okay, okay, I see how it is. You feel me? I ain't wanna, I ain't wanna believe that, but I see. So it was just like that. Like it hurt my feelings, but it ain't break me down the way it would break me down back in the day. And I was just like, bro, it ain't no way these people can be for me and act like this. It's no way. So, moral of the story, y'all. <laughs>
don't disregard none that I've said, you know, because I'm always going to be on the brighter side of things. I don't care what's going on. I'm always going to try to be on the bright side. I'm always going to try to be one love, one unity. And, but I got to realize, I got to, I got to, from today, from moving on forward or whatever, I got to really accept that, bro. I don't even know. I don't got no words. I, I really don't have no words right now. That's why I said I'm going to talk about it when I can find the words. But right now, it's just like, I'm just really like, I don't know. It's like, I think I just don't care. I don't care. I don't care no more. Like, I really don't. I mean, I don't know, like, bad thing. But it's it's a, it's really a freeing feeling to just, when somebody just keeps showing you who they is. And you go your whole life, you're trying to make sure, you know, get them all these chances. Because you really, really don't want to cut them off. But... Then you start to grow this little feeling towards them, like, bro, I'm really starting not to like you. Like, but then you feel guilty for not liking them, even though they making you not like them. They're doing everything in their power to make you not want to deal with them. So when they do that one little last thing, and you just, it's like, thank you. Like, thank you for freeing me because I need that. You know what I mean? Because now, every way that I feel about y'all or whoever, you know, now I ain't gonna feel guilty no more because y'all y'all showing me like now everything that I think I'm not gonna overthink things no more. I'm not gonna say hey I wanna go visit and then get that little feeling and it ain't gonna be hard. It's gonna be like no that feeling. That's why I got. That's why I always get that feeling because every time I would always get this feeling. Every time I wanna go back down there, I would get this feeling like don't go, don't go, don't go. But I thought it was just me. I thought it was just because you know I overthink. But I told my partner I said you know what. I don't overthink. I over it seems like I overthink because I don't want to accept what my spirit is telling me. So then I go back and forth with myself to make myself feel better about doing something that I know I don't need to be doing. So I don't overthink, I just don't trust myself. You know what I mean? And when you don't trust yourself, you might not know where you're gonna end up, you know? So just let y'all know I'm free, like they have freed me from that that space. So now when I get on here, I ain't got to shoot the coat. I ain't got to talk about certain things and worry about this. Cause it's like, girl, you ain't even saying nothing wrong. <laughs> like you, your feelings are valid. How many how many times do you have to be proven? How many times does it have to be proven to you that your feelings are valid, bro? How many times do you have to be reminded of why you even chose this path? How many times? But anyway, um, yeah, so that's the end of this video. Um, I don't really got no advice. I mean y'all can just take whatever y'all y'all can take whatever y'all get from everything I said, but I just wanna say like, you know, family has been my biggest obstacle in life. They have been my biggest enemies, they have been my biggest everything. Like I feel like my whole life has been revolving around them, like to the point where Everything I do, everything I say is like, you know, but yesterday was the last day. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, and if they see this, I don't even care. Like, it's like, I don't even want to talk to folks or I don't even want to talk to folks. Like, I don't got nothing to say nobody. Like, cause I don't even know people could just do so wrong all the time. Like, like why? Like what I do? Like I haven't done nothing. I ain't do nothing to nobody. Let me stop yet. But I ain't do nothing to nobody though. It's like, what, why everybody so against me? And all I try to do is help people. Like, my whole life, I just try to help people, be there for people, love on people, be a light, spread my, you know, good energy there well. And I always get kicked right in the face. People just give me their butt to kiss. Everybody always still finding something to hate me for. Everybody always still, you know, coming up with something to just make themselves feel better about how they treat me. And it's like, okay, I get it now. Stop lying to yourself. Like, these people don't, they don't, they don't, they don't F with you, girl. So, yeah. Yeah. Nope, I don't wanna cry. Nope, I don't wanna cry. Like, I, I, I ain't sad about it. Like, you feel me? It's just, I don't know. If you know, you know. But now I get why y'all people be snip snip. Like, I get it. I get it. And one more thing I wanna say, like my partner, he'd be like, well, you know, let's just, it's just a road trip. You know what I'm saying? Let's just go in here and it's a road trip. And I'm like, you know what? We, we take that three hour, almost three hour drive down there. 
all we gotta do is just go three hours somewhere else. Like, why we gotta keep going? I don't, look, all in all, y'all, I just wanna say a little, that, say that little stuff. But just know, when people show you who they is, believe them. When they treat you a certain way and they make you feel like they don't like you or they ain't for you, just believe it. Because if people was for you, if they liked you, if they loved you, if they care about you, they would not do certain things. They wouldn't say certain things. It's people out here that really be saying things purposely to hurt you, to break you down, to make you feel bad about yourself, to make you feel insecure because they can't stand you. They can't stand the fact that you've been going through the same little tough, ugly life that everybody going through, but somehow you always prevail. Like somehow you always come around, you always looking good. Ain't nothing ever broke you. And they don't understand, they, they can't grasp that. So they take that and they just choose to hate you for it. They choose to try to make you feel the way they feel about they self. But don't let nobody do that to you. I let, I've been letting people do that to me my whole life. And I don't, uh, I don't agree with age, but just to give y'all an idea, I'm 24. So just think about that, I've been here that long. And as long as I can remember, people have done me so bad. <laughs> and I didn't need, I didn't never understand it, but now I do. And it's like, girl, cause you the one, like you got it. And they know you got it. So now it's just time for me to know I got it and use it and don't, and don't worry about nothing else. And that's my advice to y'all. Do the same. Thank y'all for tuning into my channel. Um, yeah more to come you know it's only gonna be up from here now you feel what i'm saying yeah so thank y'all for tuning in i hope y'all enjoyed this video you mean i, I really do hope y'all still got something from it you know what i mean um and y'all will see me or y'all will see me and my partner in the next video <laughs>